Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Brad Kirby. And HPE One View got a big release that you yes. guys announced this week here at the show. 3.0 right here at the show. A couple of key things that we're uh, announcing. Number one is uh, allowing our customers to migrate more easily from their existing Blade System Virtual Connect environment to One View, all online, no disruption. Second thing is remote support, so the systems will automatically phone home to HP if there's a problem, open a service ticket, your guys don't have to be on the phone calling HP. And then the third thing that I would point out is this global dashboard. And the global dashboard is really all about allowing our customers to manage at scale. And, and what does that mean, managing at scale? Yeah, so what we mean by managing at scale is um, a lot of our larger enterprise customers have multiple data centers. Uh, in multiple geographical locations, or maybe they'll have remote office, branch office. And the question is, how do you get a unified view of that infrastructure? Well, that's what the global dashboard is all about. It's allowing you to take content from multiple OneView instances, roll that up into a single view, and manage thousands of devices from a single vantage point. So, this I, I, I can see like a dashboard here behind us. That, yeah. is that, that's, that's the global dashboard there? This is the global dashboard. So it's, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You have all of your infrastructure. You can see the status of the infrastructure. I can drill down on any of these items because all the status rings are contextual. And then I can launch one view with single sign-on and do advanced troubleshooting or configuration changes. And I centralize all of my reporting, and uh, I can see all of my activities from one location as well. So again, the idea here is I have a large number of systems. I want to go one place to monitor all those systems. That's what the dashboard does. And so how does this fit in? Because I mean, we, we can't really talk about uh, OneView without also thinking about Composable. How does, how does 3.0 uh, kind of bring the Composable story forward? Yeah, great point. I mean, the, the three tenets of Composable infrastructure are fluid resource pools, software-defined intelligence, and unified API. And OneView is really critical to two of those three. Um, it delivers software-defined intelligence through its template-based approach to management. Your subject matter experts kind of define what the infrastructure looks like once as a template, and then anyone in the organization can roll it out. And then the API is really about taking all of the instrumentation points and control surfaces and exposing those to third-party applications. So you hear today a lot about Chef and Ansible and SaltStack. Well, we make those applications capable of deploying physical infrastructure. Or maybe um, our own HP operations suite, OMI, OpsBridge, or data center infrastructure management tools. They get to know about the details of the hardware by communicating through that API with so, OneView. And so for this 3.0 release, is this a, an upgrade for anybody that was currently using OneView? Yeah, if I have a OneView license, uh, I'm going to be entitled to uh, OneView 3.0. I download the update file, install it, I'm ready to go. There's nice. nothing else that I need to buy. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, Thanks, awesome, Brad. thanks.